Um, good morning. These are our top news stories. Officials this week have reported that 19 students and two staff members have tested positive for coronavirus in ESM school district. The case have included six in-person students and four students that were already quarantined due to previous exposure by family. The district has had students test positive six out of its seven schools since they began phasing students in. Unlike other school districts, ESM has not decided to make a public announcement when students or staff members test positive. Instead, they contact families directly through things like letters or emails. For comparison, the larger schools districts have reported 24 cases, and most suburban districts have reported cases by only handfuls. Movie theaters plan to reopen in central New York on Friday, October 23rd. Regal Cinema plans to reopen with social distance protocols. All the people who wear face masks and sit two seats away from each party of people. Concessions will be open using the app to order. Additionally, the Movie Theater Tavern and the Manly's Art Cinema, the Hollywood Theater, and Maddie Dill and several others are set to open. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Sheikov, you gotta move it here. Changes are coming to the cafeteria beginning on Monday, October 26. The large cafeteria will become cashless. Students must have money in their accounts and scan their ID cards. At the time of purchase, pin pads will not be used to minimize the touching of surfaces. If a student does not have money in their account, they will not be able to purchase items. Students and parents can put money on students' accounts using myschoolbucks.com. There will be a virtual meeting of Finance and Accounting Club at 4 p.m. on Thursday, October 22nd. Email mock at esmschools.org and put in subject line the words Request Accounting Club Zoom link and it will be sent to you ASAP. Always accepting new members. Anyone can join, especially current and former accounting, accounting and or finance students and anyone interested in accounting, finance, or business. What is the Accounting Club about? The ESM Accounting Club promotes the positive role of the accounting pr profession and strives to provide networking opportunities with potential employers and other students with similar career objectives. The club sponsors guest speaker speakers from public accounting and industry. The plans field trips to experience the world of accounting beyond the classroom. Club members provide co community service through our community tax preparation assistance program in partnership with CORE Federal Credit Union and Peace Incorporated. Although we are not sure what this year will bring, we can set the wheels rolling and adjust as we go. Email jmock at esmschools.org and put in the subject line, the words, request accounting club Zoom link and it will be sent to you ASAP. Senior graduation packets are out in the main lobby in front of the welcome booth. Pick up one in order to cap and or order your cap and gown. A rep from Herf Jones will be in, uh, in on Thursday, October 9th and Monday, November 2nd down in the Senior Cafe during lunches to place orders directly with them or to answer any questions you must have. If you have any other questions, see Mrs. Recor in the welcome booth. Today we will have mostly cloudy skies with a high of 60. Tomorrow we will warm up to a high of 75 with mostly sunny skies. Saturday and Sunday we will have mostly cloudy skies with highs in the mid to upper 50s. Monday is expected to be mostly rainy with, high, with a high of 58. Tuesday and Wednesday we will have expected showers with highs in the low 50s. I'm Gabby with your weather. Okay, it seems that we've been in, a, in the COVID era for what seems like a lifetime. And if you're like us, you're kind of sick hearing 
certain expressions. So starting today, we are doing a Sweet 16 bracket of words and expressions you do not want to hear again. We're starting off with number one, the new normal. And the fourth, and the fourth seed that you are muted again, or I can't hear you. Head it on over to Twitter to vote for which one you never want to hear again, and head over to sports. In upcoming games, the girls' tennis team plays West Genesee at 4.30 at home. And the boys' soccer team will be playing at home against Skinny Atlas at 6.30. And the girls will also play away at Skinny, at Skinny Atlas also at 6.30. The girls' soccer team beat Central Square on Tuesday with a final score of 6-1. to one. Goals were scored by Gianna Kokikina, Lena Polcaro, and Leah Rem. The boys also beat Central Square 2 to nothing. Goals were scored by Christian Moon and Matt Kenny. The boys' golf team also came away with a win, beating Albert 3-1. Key contributors were Will D'Agostino, Gino Abdu, and Nolan Palmer, and Gavin Hollickton. The season ended with a 6-4 record. Tonight, the 1-5 New York Giants will face the 1-4-1 Philadelphia Eagles on Thursday Night Football. Despite the bad record, this game could allow a team to make a move up in the NFC East standings. In MLB, the Tampa Bay Rays tied up the series last night 1-1 -to -one, as the Rays beat the Los Angeles Dodgers 6-4. to -four. Brandon Lau hit two home runs in the Tampa victory. Game three will be tomorrow. I am Tanner with your sports. So uh, if I were to vote, which I am going to, I'd vote for uh, You Are Muted Again. That seemed to be a, a pretty popular... Uh, yeah, popular I would also vote for that because... I hear that about twice a day on my Zoom calls. So. Yeah, exactly. So uh, from everybody here at the morning show, have a great rest of your day.